Catherine, uh, welcome again. Um, we'd like to talk a little bit about one of your special initiatives uh, that you've taken on as an individual, mm -hmm. which is the Mad Hatter's Parade. For those of our viewers who don't know what that is, can you briefly describe it? Yes, I'd love to describe the Mad Hatter's. So um, in working, I mentioned that I worked in, with SFT, Strengthening Families Together programs, and I'd hear people at the end of 10 weeks of, of being in our programs, they still would have no idea where they're going to go, what they're going to do, and they'd want to continue from there. Our programs end at that time, so um, what are we going to do? So we could start groups of care and share groups to together, you know, be able to come together and talk. I thought we needed more than that. I thought we needed something um, big, something to get us out there and be recognized and also bust that stigma that we have with mental illness and particularly with schizophrenia. So my idea, because of my son Paul, who's so creative, he can buy a ball cap and make that ball cap into five hats. I don't know how he does that, but he can do that. And he's really creative in art, drawing, all kinds of things, music. He does a lot of people who are mentally ill are, a lot of people who are schizophrenic are. So I decided we had to do something with hats. Um, thought about it for a couple of years and thought of the Mad Hatters because that's fun. It's about hats. There's some um, connection to um, another thinking, another world with the Mad Hatters Tea Party. The Mad Hatters themselves with the, the, the the makeup of a hat, the lead, the mercury and the lining of the hats affected their brains, did go mad. People did not like the idea of mad for the Mad Hatters Parade. I liked it because I think we have to be mad about, angry mad about what we don't have and what resources we don't have and what helps we need and don't get. So that's another side to it. Mainly what I wanted it to be was about fun, about wearing hats, about coming to a tea party, about drinking your tea out of a proper cup and saucer and the whole Mad Hatter's Tea Party idea um, with, that was always provided for us, um, the high tea with all the little sandwiches and all the little scones and jam and the cream. So everybody would come from all walks of life and sit there and have high tea and wear their hats. We had a parade of hats. So this is the third year just passed that we've done the Mad Hatter's Parade and it's growing every year, it quadrupled the f in the second year because people want to come out. They want mm -hmm. to be creative, they want to have fun, they want to drink tea and eat cakes, and we just want to be like other people, being able to have something that we can represent ourselves at that shows our creativity. And there's lots of fantastic hats that come. We also make hats um, at the tea party. So we make our hats, we walk in our parade, and we have tea. And people come who are not, and maybe do not have, and would not know anything about um, schizophrenia or mental illness, but they come for the, the tea and the cakes, and they learn when they come. The parade takes place in which city? It takes place so far in Maple Ridge, but what I say is last year Maple Ridge, so the last three years Maple Ridge, next year the world. So we're going to start <laughs> moving out, and we're going to have that be a vehicle for us. Um, my tagline is, changing the face of mental illness. I want people to see people who are mentally ill in a totally different way than we've been looking at and seeing them up until now.